Next Chapter Podcasts. Hi, Play On Podcast listeners. Today, we wanted to share a podcast we love with you. It's called Small Victories. It follows the days of Marisol Montgomery, a recently recovered drug addict who is ready to start her new lease on life. Too bad life has it out for her. Hopefully, with the help of her girlfriend, best friend, and emotional support audience, that's you, she'll figure out how to make it in this wild world of ours. Seasons one and two are now available everywhere you listen to podcasts. And here is the first episode for you. You know, when I first went clean, I thought it'd be a lot harder. I mean, the first two times it was, but this time? <laughs> like cake! 20 days? 20 days clean and sober. No help, just me, myself, and motherfucking I. <laughs> I mean, they told me that I, I would need to completely change my life if I wanted to actually have it stick this time. But they were some dumb motherfuckers, because look at me. I'm fine. I'm great. Mm. And here I am on the prettiest fucking day I've ever seen in my 22 years of living, I swear. Mm. It's warm. And not the kind of lukewarm that exists all the time in D.C. during this time of the year. But, like, this might be the first day I haven't had to wear a jacket kind of warm. Hey, some day we're having... Huh? It's gray, right? I don't even fucking know that guy. But that's the power of a good day. It'll have you talking to anybody with a smile on their face. Christ, if it looked like this all the time, I don't even know who I'd be. I mean, it's just so blue, and the cherry blossoms are all around, and uh, it's a beautiful fucking day to be sober is what I'm saying to you. Hey, Marisol, I've been missing you. You been missing me? Oh, shit. WGC Productions presents Small Victories. I said WGC Productions presents Small Victories. Marisol. Sorry. What were you doing? Chill, Oscar Long. Do I just... Yes, come on. You've already started. People are waiting. Got it, got All right. Hey, I'm Marisol. And this is all about me. And I'm a mess currently. <laughs> I'm just going to give you a heads up. I'm trying this new responsible thing. And this is sort of part of it, so bear with me. All right. If you're not here for mentions of drug abuse, boy, oh boy, this ain't the one for you. <laughs> if you are... Okay. <laughs> what? Whatever, this is stupid. I'm throwing a party tonight. You should come through. <laughs> um, that's Aaron. He's, um, I don't even know why. What, what was I? <gasps> right, tonight. Oh, oh, shit, that was loud. And now people are starting to look. Oh, okay, let me just talk to you in my head. So. Tonight, I made plans, non-Aaron related plans, um, yeah. Me and my best friend Ollie, me and Ollie are gonna eat my world famous buffalo wings and then we're gonna play video games. Since I've been crashing on this couch, I've had nothing to do but play, so <laughs> I'm crazy good. And I was even kind of thinking then, after we eat and play or whatever, that we'll probably sit up and talk and just sort of hang out. Back in high school, him, me and my brother used to be all thick as thieves. But now, man, I think even if I had to pay him, he wouldn't get away from all of his fucking bougie Howard friends. And like every time I ask him about it, he's all like, Relax, Marisol, it's just networking. If I want to win the game, I have to know who else is playing. You know what I'm saying? Or he says some bullshit like, I'm just trying to make something of myself. I thought you'd be happy for me. And I am happy. He's like, moving up in the world or whatever, but I mean, I'm still here, you know? I'm just saying, I think this might be the first thing I've really looked forward to since I went clean. I mean, 
it's not gonna be as good. I mean, nothing feels even a fraction of an inch of how good Coke feels. Like, God damn! And before you get the wrong idea, I'm not a cokehead. <laughs> Don't make enough fucking money to be a cokehead. Besides, I've met my fair share of cokeheads, and those fuckers are grade A assholes. No, I just like it. And it wasn't like I was married to it either. I mean, I did some PCP, liked meth a lot, really loved heroin. Mm. Dropped my fair share of acid. Used to smoke, but it fucked with my anxiety, so. <laughs> you see, it's not like I was only into Coke. It's just, you know, if I had to choose between Coke and anything else, I'd choose Coke. Oh, unless I was choosing between Coke and sobriety, in which case I would choose sobriety like I did and am doing every day. Hallelujah, whoop dee doo <laughs> you know. Back in N.A., they told me if I wanted to, and these aren't their words, but it's the gist. They said that I needed to actually, you know, think about what life would look like for me in the future if I was gonna make it. Like, I need to picture me with all the good stuff I'd have before I die. You know, think about the family Mina and me would have, and I don't know, being head chef at some place, and I'd have like <laughs> a dog. Anyways, when I think of all that, I'm supposed to want to, you know, make decisions that get me there instead of, I don't know, dying at 22 as I choke to death on my own vomit in a club bathroom or whatever the fuck. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ, I swear to God, if this is Aaron again, I'm gonna fall there. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's Nina. I know I haven't really talked about her yet, but she is, oh my God. I can't wait to marry her someday. She said, I'm having artist block. Tell me what to paint. Me, L-O-L. <laughs> That's my soulmate right there, man. You know, I think she might be the one good thing I have going for me right now. Like, for all the shit that's happening and for all the shit that I've done, at least me and her are doing it. I mean, we're making it. God, I wish we were doing it. Oh, that was such a bad joke. Christ, am I rambling? Ugh. Ew. Ew? What's that mean? Like a funny ew or a mean ew? Or like, I'll never want to speak to you again, ew. Or... I'm joking. Don't overthink it. Smiley face. Maybe I'll do a portrait. A self-portrait. Thanks. <laughs> That's my baby. When are you coming home? Call me. I just want to hear your voice. I miss you. Uh, I... So I didn't... I didn't lie to you or anything. We are in love. It's just, you know, sometimes love is weird and shit. I'm serious. Call me. Uh, you know, I, um... Uh, I should go to the store. Yeah, pick up my wings for tonight. God, tonight is gonna be so fun. Look, uh, I'm going to the store. I know you can't smell what I'm cooking right now, but goddamn, it smells good. Not to toot my own horn, but beep, beep, bitch. Okay? <laughs> uh, I got my wings roasted in the oven right now. Got my side sizzling on the stove now. Making some glazed carrots. I think the hint of sweet will make the savory heat of the wings really shine. Usually when I make my wings, I add a little wine to my carrots, just to enhance the flavor, but... When I moved in, Ollie moved all his wine out, so. But it should still work fine, just fine. I actually learned this wing recipe from my pops. I mean, my mom really was the cook of the family. I mean, she'd be out there making like roasted chicken from scratch, and pops would be good if he couldn't fuck up a pee and j But his wings, woo boy. He stopped making them a few months after mom died, so. When me and Sam were 13, I guess. He only really made them when we all got invited to a cookout. And 
we didn't really get invited to those after mom died because who wants to hang out with a widowed drunk and his two weird kids? But before, when we ate them, it was like, I don't know. It was like we were all just a normal family, just eating and crying <laughs> and laughing. And Oh, great. Maybe that's Ollie. Oh, he needs to get here soon, otherwise the food will get... Hey, mama. Shit, it's Aaron. You thought about that party I'm throwing? You should come. What a weirdo. Who throws a party on a Tuesday? It's been forever and a day since I've seen your pretty face. Plus, I got a little something extra for you. Text back for address. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. God, he throws the best parties. And about earlier when I said shit, that wasn't a bad shit. I mean, me and him go back, and he's like a cool guy, you know? I mean, yeah, he's the motherfucker who kept selling me shit even when I was clearly, you know, not always in the best place. But he's a good listener, and he's got, like, great taste in movies, and he gives great heads. So, I mean, it's not like he's all bad. No, I'm not. We have fun, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did. We do, we, we do. Maybe I should go, just to say hello. I mean, being, being sober doesn't mean I can't be a good friend, does it? No, it doesn't. You know, the last time you saw me was a month ago. Ain't that too long? Ain't that too long for your very good friend? Yeah, yeah, way too long. And it's not like I have to stay till like 5 a.m. I can just pop in. Yeah, just pop in. Pop in and say hi, and I'll pop out. Just pop in and say hi, and then pop out. Easy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just pop in and pop out and not even buy anything. But I'll, I'll stay in. <gasps> Ollie, right, right. T tonight, tonight is me and his night. I can't dip out and go to Aaron's part. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta stay and cook. Gotta stay, and then me and Ollie can talk and catch up. And that's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, fuck! The carrots! He's not coming. <laughs> Oliver called and said that he's not coming. So that's why I'm lying on his living room floor in the dark. Cause I'm so much of a piece of shit that I can't even get my best friend since diapers to hang out with me. He called about an hour ago and said, I'm sorry, Tiny, but someone just posted in the group me that Professor Adeoye is having this master class on civil rights litigation. And you know she works in the DOJ too. So this could be a really big thing for me. But we were planning to hang out. We can hang out later, like this weekend or something. But we never get to hang out anymore. It's like I barely see you. You live on my couch. I see you all the time. Yeah, but we don't talk. I was really looking forward to yeah, this. Yeah, I was too. But not enough to not change your mind. Look, just get on the metro and come to campus. We can go together, get pizza after. Yeah, I'll go there and I'll sit in that class looking stupid in front of your friends. Well, it's not like you have to talk. So I'll just walk around like you're fucking mine? Christ, Marisol. Besides, I know that that smart stuff was always more of a you and Sam thing. Don't do that. I don't want to feel like my brother's cheap knockoff. Don't you ever... If you don't want to come, fine. You know, at least I'm trying. I invited you out. You actually wanted to spend time with me, you would. You're just being selfish. Bye, Oliver. Tiny, wait, don't. So that's why I'm lying here in the dark under a pile of laundry, cause I'm a piece of shit. Whose best friend's avoiding her? I mean, Jesus, am I so awful that a fucking seminar is more exciting? Not even a seminar. A master class. A master class! Fuck him. Fuck him and his shitty Jack and Jill friends. What, he thinks just because he's my best friend he's the only person I fucking got? I'm a one-man band, baby. You think, I, you think I need you to have a good time? Fuck you, Oliver. Fuck you. I got options. I got Aaron. I got Aaron? What am I saying? Wait, what the fuck am I doing? What am I? No, no. 
Wait, it's okay. I just, I'll just go for a bit. Pop in, pop out. Besides, I, I look too goddamn fine to be alone right now, right? Won't drink anything. No, no. Yeah, I, I don't need to get fucked up. I just need to just, need to remember. Marisol Montgomery is the fucking goat. That's what I need to remember, all right? I'm the goat. And I'm in control. I'm in control. I'm in control. Hey, hey. I don't have to do shit if I don't want to. And I, I don't want to, so I won't do shit. Yeah? Yeah, this is good. This is gonna be dope. Of course, it, it's gonna be fucking dope. <laughs> I'm a goddamn genius. You have just listened to Small Victories, starring Morgan McKenzie as Marisol. Okay. <laughs> what? Whatever. This is stupid. Yodit Nimberg as Nina. I'm serious. Call me. Cody Smith. As Aaron. I've been missing you. You've been missing me? Jakir Lafon as Oliver. If I want to win the game, I have to know who else is playing. Carl Grenieri as the friendly biking stranger. Someday we're having, huh? Composer, Sterling Termine. Script supervisor, Virginia Wilson. Director and sound designer, Nathan Gabriel. Writer, creator, and producer, Jade Madison Scott and Economo Ifang as the host. Small Victories is supported by listeners like you. You can support us by subscribing to our Patreon and purchasing our merchandise from our store. Links to both can be found at www.wgcproductions.com. Please follow us at With Good Co. on Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date. Next Chapter Podcasts.